Hello everyone, welcome to my class. I am Dr. Ganesh Kumar from India. Today what we are going to see is evolution of Internet of Things. Everywhere the people are talking about Internet of Things, Internet of Things. But today we are going to see that how the Internet of Things has been evolved from an Internet to this stage. And also we are going to predict that how the Internet of Things is going to rule for another couple of years or it may be another one or two decades. This is an internet revolution. The internet has been started in the year 1969. So the 1969 to 1995, we call it as an internet of boofins. And then in the year 1995 to 2000, we call it as an internet of jigs, where every corporate and every business and every government offices, they start using their internet. So that period 1999 to 2000, 1995 to 2000 we call it as a internet of jigs in the year 2000 to 2007 internet of masses so everywhere every streets we can able to see that internet cafes so every people they start using an internet right from an individual to any corporate or any business or any offices they start using an internet so this period we call it as an internet of masses and then in the year 2007 the mobile has been evolved tremendously. So 2007 to 2011, we call it as a mobile internet. This once the mobile internet has been comes into a picture, then every people, they start using the internet while on the go. In the year 2012 and beyond, the internet of things has been comes into a picture where all the devices, they want to communicate each other. And also this period only, all the smart devices are started developing. Every industries, they start developing their own smart products. So this is an internet revolution. Now we are going to see that what are the impact of internet? So which are all the fields, which are all the domains, this internet has been evolved in a greater way. If you start from education, where the e-learning, virtual classroom, and virtual certificates, and e-certificates, and then business, communication, entertainment, and medical and health, where the people can start using an Skype, Yahoo Messenger, Google Messenger, and then WeChat. Likewise, the communication also, this internet has been helped a lot. And there is no limitation for an entertainment, as well as the medical and health domain also, the internet has been evolved in a greater way. Now, this statistics, it is going to tell that how the internet has been penetrated into every individual life. If we start from this statistics going to give the information from 2002 till date. And also it is going to anticipate how this internet usage will be in the year 2020 also. In the year 2003, there are 6.3 billion people are there in the world, complete world. So the total connected devices are 500 millions. That means every person connected devices per person is 0 0.08. It was very less. When you look at it 2010, the number of connected devices per person is 1.84. It means that every person is more than one devices are going to connect to an internet. In the year 2015, there are more than three devices are connected from one person to an internet. The anticipated is in the year 2020, around seven devices per person is going to connect to an internet. So in this connected world, which are all the devices, which are all the technologies which is contributing in this internet of things? There are 70 percentage, 70 percentage of connected world is completely dominated by the mobile. So all the mobile devices, every device is going to communicate through wireless. So desktop and notebook 29 percentage, smartphones and phones 41 percentage, connected TV, media players, game players, tablets, e-readers and other ways and means to connect to an internet. Altogether it is a hundred percentage. So the typical views of an internet of things, the majorly it is focusing in the area of industrial automation, smart health, smart home and smart city. 
which is going to cover all the domains across the world. Now we can see that what is an internet of things. So every person will have a different perception because there is no boundary limit for internet of things. So according to the people's definition like Wikipedia, Center for Data and Innovation, there are lot of definitions. It starts from internet of objects, machine to machine era has been started. At last, the people are claiming that internet of everything. So according to an Wikipedia, the internet of things also called as an internet of objects, which is going to connect it through an wireless network between any devices. Say for mainly it is going to connect it to an household appliances. In internet of things, according to center and data innovations, the IOT refers to the concept that internet is no longer just it is going to be a global network. So it is going to be a global network where all the devices can able to communicate each other. That means the machine to machine era has been started. The term internet of things has come to describe a number of technologies that is enabling technologies and research disciplines which is going to enable the internet to reach out into an real world physical objects. This was the definition in the year 2008 and 2020 what the expectation is things having identities and virtual personalities. It means that every things which is going to have an unique identity and also the virtual personalities operating in a smart spaces where the intelligence plays a vital role. The internet of things, the term IOT has been used by Kevin Aston in the year 1999, refers to uniquely identifiable objects that objects are going to refer as an things and their virtual representation in an internet is like a structure. More things are being to be connected starting from home or daily life devices, business and public infrastructures, healthcare. It is not only limited to this four, it also extended to any other domains. People want to connect it to the things. So people connecting to things, it means that every person, they want to connect it to an internet. There are different ways and means starting from smart mobile, smart glass, smart belt, and smart watch. Likewise, the people wants to connect it to internet in many ways. Next, the machine to machine era where the things want to connect it to other things. Earlier, the person wants to connect it to an internet. That means one object, one thing wants to connect it to another things by means of telecommunication infrastructure. If you look at it here in this picture, there is a machine to network communication and the network to machine communication. Finally, the machine to machine communication, it is going to take place where the biggest challenge is the complex as well as the heterogeneous. So this complex and heterogeneous networks, which needs a lot of resources and the network support. How are the networks are changing? Earlier, we used to have time with respect to place. Now we are expecting that time, place and the things. So the extension is more number of nodes and more connections are required with the support of IP version 6 as well as the 6 low power personal area network and also anytime, any place and anything we want to be connected. So machine to machine era, machine to machine IOT which is going to connect the billions of devices. So the billions of devices are going to be interconnected and it is going to exchange the data. So everybody also wants to connect it to an internet. So the expansion is depends upon the how the telecommunication structure infrastructure is going to support. So the broadband connections. So the enhancements are the smart networks is required and data center and content oriented network and the context aware. It means that autonomous systems are required. How the future networks are going to be. If you look at it in this picture, Normally, the X and Y axis, which is going to be a conventional network, it means that any time connection with any place connection. So initially, it starts from the local home desktop PC, PC. From the PC, only the daytime we will be connected anytime, 
with respect to PC, daytime, nighttime, at last the people wants to communicate even in indoors as well as the outdoors. So the indoor communication, outdoors and indoor communication and also finally they want to have a internet on the move. But the another one dimension has been evolved by means of internet of things that is an Z domain. The Z domain is anything wants to be connected. Here in the PCs also want to connect and also human to human communication not using an PC, human to things want to communicate and things to things want to communicate. This is going to be the future network. So this future network, if you want to develop this kind of future network, what the network characteristics should be required that we can see. So any future network which requires this five important characteristics. The first and primary thing is that the ambient intelligence. When we are moving into an intelligent network, when we are moving into an internet of things, so the intelligent plays a vital role. So the ambient intelligence and flexible structure is required. So the network is going to be an ad hoc in nature. So on the move also the networks are going to be created. So it should have an capability of flexible structure and semantic sharing. It means that there should be a meaningful data communication and the complex access technology and event driven mechanism. So these five characteristics are required to support for an any effective internet of things communication. So how the smart product sales? So this picture is going to give an very good information that how this internet of things has been evolved from 2011 to till date. From this we can able to anticipate that how it is going to dominate for another few years or it may be at least one or two decades. If you look at it here, in the year 2011, around 500 to 600 billion devices are going to be connected. Here the composition of what type of devices are connected in this, what type of devices are, which domains which is participating in this major sales. It starts from smart security, smart transportation, smart education, smart healthcare, smart industrial automation and smart energy, smart building and homes. In the year 2012, it comes to close to 800 billion devices, 2013, 900 billion devices, 2014, around 900 billion devices. In the year 2016, it crosses 1000 billion dollar business. So from this we can understand that, so in future network, it means the 2020 it is going to become minimum 2000 billion dollar business are going to be in that IoT domain. So from this we can understand that how the internet has been evolved from 1965 to till date and also from 2012 to nowadays how the internet of things is going to rule for the business for another couple of years. Thank you.